Okay, this is the Ford Power Shift transmission. Just want to give you a little overview of it. It's a twin clutch automated manual transmission, a six speed, so for those of you who don't know. Um, this is a 2012 Ford Focus. And um, SEs with the sport package, SEL and titanium models, all have one that looks like this. We have the power converse ne neutral drive and sport and manual shift rockers. Um, in drive, the manual shift rockers don't work. There's no temporary override thing. That's sport mode. In sport mode, um, it changes, you can see on the gear shift indicator there. In sport mode, it um, obviously it acts a little bit sportier. It uh, downshifts sooner and holds revs longer, and it blips the, it still blips the, thr blips the throttle on downshifts, but it uh, helps you slow down um, when you're coming on the brakes at downshifts sooner. It gives you a little bit more engine braking there. That's the word I wanted to use. Then, once you're in sport mode, then you can put it in manual mode. After you push one of the rockers, you can see how it says a 1 right next to the sport. It won't let you do a second gear launch, but that's your gear shift indicator. Um, if you want to go back and drive, just go like that. Now, if you're in manual mode and you want to get back in sport mode, you have to go drive and sport. And you don't need to push this button here to knock it back into drive. You do, however, need to push it to knock it into neutral. But you can push it. You do need the button to put it in sport. You can't just knock it back into sport. But if you're in sport, you can knock it back into drive. But this transmission is generally smooth, but coming launching in first gear is abrupt. It's all right on a flat surface, but if you're on a hill, it can be kind of shitty if you're not coming to a complete stop. And um, when you're in manual mode, it, when, if you're coming on and off the gas a lot, it behaves very poorly. There is a technical service bullet now on it to fix the low speed jerkiness, but I hope it fixes some of the throttle calibration. Let me just put it in second gear so you can see. There's second. Now, on a hill, off the gas, there's like a full second delay. There's like a full second delay almost from when my foot's on the gas to when the car actually starts going. Foot on the gas now. And that gave me first gear. So it'll still override what you have it set on, which is kind of irritating. But it doesn't do it unless you're fairly aggressive with it. Let me just shift. And it's pretty thunky. But you can see my foot's on the gas now. And then it kicks back, it's like, on the gas, uh, and then let me do it one more time just so you can see, on the gas now, then it goes, and again, on the gas now, then it goes, it's like, it's, and if you have a car full of people, that problem is magnified like crazy, and it's really jerky, and if you have it in drive, it'll constantly be trying to keep it in six gear, and if you try to push your foot in the gas, you get a really horrible downshift, and it's very clunky. So it just operates. If I had test driven this car when it was full of people, I wouldn't have bought it. That's how poor the transmission is tuned. It's so much worse than a Volkswagen DSG. The only time this transmission operates perfectly fine is if you drive like an old lady. If you're an old lady, it's fine. But otherwise, no. It hesitates to downshift. It's really clunky when you're going on and off the throttle. And even when you come off the throttle, you get a second little bump from the from the drive line. It's it's very poorly tuned. But like I said, I will get the technical service bulletin done on it. That should reflash it and hopefully improve shift quality. That's about it.